this is going to be a little egg tip video okay but before we go ahead guys please 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 hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up unfortunately i can't go any further until you do that now go and do it now subscribe notification thumbs up awesome right let's get into the tip video right so what we have here is a clutch i pulled the other day literally less than a couple of days something like that we had an egg that had rolled out okay now as you can see it's starting to go a bit transparent on top now this is normally a sign that the calcium of that shell of that part of the shell there is weak and what we can do there's there's a little something we can do with that i literally i knew she'd laid it and it rolled out so i got it as soon as possible and i, I just want to make this aware that when snakes roll eggs out doesn't necessarily mean that they are bad this egg has got perfectly good veins and it's healthy other than it's starting to weep now two days later and the mum wouldn't have known that roll out eggs i genuinely have great success with roll out eggs provided you get them early so the minute you see she's kicked them out get them early enough and you can incubate them successfully okay so as we can see there and i'll just pick it up it's a little bit moist and it's starting to go a bit see-through transparent so first thing i'm going to do is clean up the area now i've done a video on this many times before about what we do using the the glue the pva glue or the elms glue okay so you can see it's transparent normally what we do we take our glue and we'd cover that and let it create almost like a sealant okay but what we're going to do with this one is a little trick i saw it was on a video that will from royal uh, Canadian reptiles did with another gentleman I forget the guy's name and they used old eggshell okay to use as as plasters and they used it when they were pulling eggs apart and they split they would cut they would keep one of these in the incubator in water cut off slithers and use it like a plaster which I thought was absolutely amazing and it really inspired me so this season that's exactly what I did I've kept an eggshell just in case now you guys know I don't separate my eggs how they lay is how they stay because in the wild that's what would happen however I do try if they do become loose I will use the dragon hatch trays to help secure them anyway back to the topic so what I'm going to do I've, I've got this egg and it's it's obviously a full-size egg so I'm just going to look the length and basically cut a piece of egg out that size like so so that's going to go over the area like so and as you can see we've got that nice curvature to it as well because obviously it's an egg so hopefully it's going to help the glue a deer and help it sort this situation now this is the first time i'm doing this with the glue and with this normally i would just use the glue and let the glue do its thing the glue doesn't always set very fast in some instances it don't it takes days or weeks for it to set we're not interested in it setting as such what we were interested in is to make sure that none of the fluid leaks out the minute the fluid starts to leak out from there guys the egg will go bad and then we'll have a dead egg on on our hands again this is a new technique for me and normally i'll just put the glue on like so a little bit at a time and this glue is not toxic it's not going to hurt the egg it's not going to hurt the embryo it's not going to create any toxicity with inside the egg okay so we'll just do that now hopefully this egg will survive and sometimes guys to be perfectly honest with you when eggs start to die, there's not much you can do. Okay, that's facts. Hopefully we can get this to work. This is the first time I'm gonna do this. So all I'm gonna do is place the old egg shell on top of where I placed the glue. Like so. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And that's obviously got the layer of glue in there. So hopefully this will help it survive because at the moment I, I think it's at that stage where it's kind of you know survive so you know we could we could save it so the other thing you could do if you wanted we could just put a smear of glue around the edge 
like so just to try and help with the sealing process so there's a little gap there so I'll just take my scissors cut that up so that can flap over and that can sit down a bit closer and tighter to the egg and then just seal that And we're going to check back in this in the next few days. I believe this will work if the egg is good, if the egg hasn't already started to perish or the, or the embryo hasn't started to perish internally. I believe this could work very well. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's check back in a few days. So I'll finish the video here. We'll check back in a few days, guys, and we'll look at the result and see if we have actually saved the egg. So here's another little hack that may save your eggs while you're incubating them this season if something goes wrong. Now, you guys know how I incubate and you know how I do things. And what I'm gonna show you here is a clutch, which isn't far from hatching. As you can see, there's plenty of condensation on the lid. We are probably about 10 days out. So I'm gonna use this as an example, okay? So if you look at these eggs, as you can see, they're starting to dry out, which when I say dry out, they're just starting to, you know, dimple in, which is standard because the babies are now starting to move. They're starting to absorb the, the water or, or the, 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 the fluid that's in there. They're starting to take on board the yolk sac, all that sort of good stuff. So if this is your clutch and it looks like this and we're only five to 10 days in and you're worried about your clutch, the chances are it's dehydrating and you haven't applied enough water. Now, the way I incubate is obviously suspended incubation where I use a hatch tray, dragon hatch trays for that instance, or the grid method, I suspend it above vermiculite and water. With this method, you don't need to measure the water at all, okay? So I need to add water to this. A lot of the times people think, oh, do I add cold water? Do I add hot water? Do I add water out the kettle? What do I add? Well, if you guys know where my incubator is set up, I have bottles of water in the base, clean, fresh water. And these have been in the incubator, so these are actually up to incubation temperatures. Now, I've had this out for 10 minutes. Let me just check it. 88 degrees. Show you again. Eighty-eight. Guess what? Inside my incubator, it's 89. So this is perfect temperatures of water to be adding. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just gently going to add that into the corner, like so. And again, because we're using suspended incubation, it doesn't matter how much water I add, provided it obviously doesn't go onto the eggs. So I can go over here and I can add water into all four corners if I wanted. I know you can't see it, but for even distribution, like so, voila. So I've not disrupted the incubation method other than raising the humidity, which is what I need to do. And I need to get that up to as close to 100% as possible. And the only way I'm gonna do that is add more water because the, there isn't enough water in the beginning. So I'll get sent pictures like this all the time and people panicking. So here's a little hack. Get yourself some water in your incubator, in a bottle, just in case you do need water, I can add that now to my clutch like I have, and I can put this back in the incubator, and away we go. Obviously these are due to hatching, I think they're due in the next sort of eight to 10 days, something like that. We should have some Batmans in there, but I'm just using this clutch as an example. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little hack. So let's do a quick update on this one. This was the egg, if you remember, was going porous, okay? And what I did was, and I've showed you guys this hack before where we use PVA glue and it forms a barrier, a sealant if you like, and it stops the egg 
from losing any more fluid. However, with this hack, as I showed you in the beginning video, I used an eggshell and PVA glue. We are halfway through incubation and so far it's doing fantastic. It's a little bit shiny because you can see the obviously the PVA glue. It's a little bit deflated, but other than that, it's looking really, really positive. So um, this is the update I'm going to do. We're halfway through incubation. Obviously, we'll know more in the egg cutting. So if you're not subscribed, guys, subscribe to the channel and you will see the updated video on this particular clutch. I hope these hacks have been helpful. I hope it gives you something to think about regarding your eggs this season. If you come across these particular issues, this may help and the other hack before may help you a hell of a lot okay guys so again thanks for all your support make sure you smash that notification bell smash that like button and also subscribe it means the world to me guys if you can subscribe but for now hope you're all well take care and i'll see you guys in the next one I hit record a job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming.